these shoes. Mom, why do you never wear normal, comfortable shoes? Oh dear, because I have a strict dress code at work. I work at a gallery and I must always dress appropriately. So you're a gallery owner? <laughs> so funny. No, I'm just an art critic. <laughs> no Mom, hope why do you remains. always walk to school? Because park there's no one. place to park near the school. It's impossible to park there. It's a complete nightmare. I forgot your sandwich. No, I have it. Seriously? Well done. I always knew you were a smart boy. That's from the warehouse. Take them to the salon for the girl. Thank you. Well, what about the builders? Yes, that's it. Good morning, girls. Pancakes are ready for breakfast. For so long. Hello, sweetie. Hi, Hi Dad. How many would you like? Just one. Fine. Thanks. Mm, okay, I'll call you later. Sylvia. Mm, what? You know, there's a completely new anesthetic that has appeared on the market, so we can treat your teeth using it. You won't feel anything, I swear. Well, this sounds amazing. But for now, I have a different problem. What kind of problem? The construction workers haven't finished the repairs at the salon. It should be ready by now. Mom? Yes? Dad, I'll be home late tonight. After my music lessons, I will go to a birthday party with my classmates. So bye, sure. see you, have a nice bye day. Lisa? Oh, Dad, sorry. Goodbye. You didn't have pancakes. I'm not hungry. I can get you tonight. Okay, um, I mean, it's not necessary. I'll be fine. Do you have money for a gift? I got a credit card, and I think I will take a pancake for the road as well. Love you, bye. Sylvia, what's wrong? When do you want your appointment? Exactly. Okay, I'll call him myself. Call who? What do you mean? I'll call the contractor. Hello? This is Sylvia. Yes? So what's the real problem? Hi. And what are you doing? Goodbye. Well, Dad, did I pass the driving test? You did. At your age, I only dreamed of a car like this. <laughs> Do you like it? You're being serious? You're the best, Dad. <laughs> the best gift for the best heir. But listen to me, son. Don't go crazy. Understood? Be careful. I know, Dad. Mm-hmm. Anyway, take care. I'll call you later. All right. Good morning, Simon. Valerie, on time and smiling as always. That's how you start your day. I see you're in a great mood today, too. I bought my son a car for his birthday. He's delighted. Oh, I saw it. It's very beautiful. Oh, we need to prepare the painting we have from Vinogradov. Someone wants to see it today. Please make the arrangements. <sighs> of course. I'll take care of it. So you are involved in construction, sir? Mm, yes, a little bit. My company is one of the ten largest developers in the city. That's impressive. Congratulations. <clears throat> How much? At the moment, $100,000. The price is listed in the catalog. A little expensive? Yes. I thought the price would be much lower. 
It is expensive. Um, excuse me, sir. Let me tell you a little bit about this masterpiece. The fact is that it's an absolutely unique piece painted by the artist Vinogradov in the 70s of the last century. Yeah, we know all about him. We have three paintings out of four and we're looking to buy the fourth. Wow, it's a wonderful collection. And I think you have the chance to make it a complete one. Mm. 50,000. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, the artist died a few years ago. You know that. Mm -hmm. And he won't paint anything else. Moreover, this is his early period. Mm -hmm. So, 100,000 is a reasonable offer. Well, what do you think? The price is too high. All right, let's do it this way. Here you have my card. And please contact me if you ever decide to lower the price. With all due respect, the price will only increase. Oh no, it's fine, we know the way. It's a pity they didn't buy it. Did you see how his wife looked at it? Mm-hmm. Hiding in the storeroom until they come. And they'll come sooner or later. important news. That's interesting. You can come right now. It's lunchtime. Yes, let's meet in a few minutes. Uh-huh, see you then. <laughs> Dan, the exam is tomorrow. Are you ready? No, of course not. I will cheat on the exam. You sound confident. Uh, yes, Dad. Dan. Can you please drive to the copy center around five, pick up the catalogs and bring them to me? Yeah, no problem. And uh, thank you for the car again, Dad. Everyone likes it, it's so cool, really. I'm glad, but don't drive fast, son. Mm-hmm, don't forget about the catalogs. Mm. Okay, I'll cut to the chase, Valerie. I didn't tell you before because I wasn't completely sure. But I've been dating a very handsome man for a long time. He's a banker, and his name is Max. <laughs> Great. And where did you meet this banker? Very romantically, at a business meeting. He asked me out to dinner, and after meeting, then we started dating, and then... This... You got a new manicure? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's everything I've ever dreamed of. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> when? Okay, so the wedding is in three weeks. I want you to be my witness. You no, have no, no choice. Please. Yes. I'm begging you not to do this. You know, I don't like these things. Come I on. beg you. No, no. Don't make me do this. Please. You're the only best friend I have, Valerie. <sighs> All right. I'll do it. But I won't catch the flowers bouquet. I won't. Did you hear me? 
Valerie, but I am sure that you will meet your future husband in my wedding. I can't do this the way you do. This is not for me, and it's not about me. You know I don't. Okay. How is Sam? I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, of course. You should visit us more. Then you wouldn't be asking these questions. But Sam's fine. Everything's fine. He grew up, he's maturing, and becoming an independent man. He's a smart boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any photos of Max? Yes. <laughs> this is Max. Look. He's cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam, do you need me to give you a ride? No thanks, I'll walk myself. Mom is waiting for me at work. See you, Sam. All right then. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. Let's go, guys. Hello, Mom? Yeah, I'll be there soon. I'm coming. See ya. Did you see how Max was looking at you today? What? No, he wasn't. Yes, I'm telling you, he has a huge crush on you. It's so obvious. Who's that? That guy is cool. Don't you think? See you later, Max. Bye. 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 Take care. This is a very cool car. Hello. Hello. Here, I'll put your cello in the back. Actually, it's a violin. Uh, of course I knew that. <laughs> well, thanks. Oh, careful. Uh, what is that? Uh, these are catalogs of paintings by artists. I'll bring them to my father. Cool. And who's your father? You're kidding. You don't know? Mm-mm. He's a well-known gallery owner. His art gallery is downtown. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Do you paint yourself? No, I am the worst. Can't paint at all. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Well, we'll drop these off and then we'll hang out somewhere. Sounds good? Yeah. Great. Buckle up then. Um, yeah. I still can't believe this. Believe what? This car. I never <laughs> seen a car like this before. Uh-huh. Well, get used to it. That'll be easy. Wow, this guy is incredible, Dad. Yeah, just wait until you see how fast it can run. How fast? It goes to a hundred in seconds. Oh, wow. Now check this out. <laughs> having an exhibition of paintings and drawings called classical art here at the gallery, which we are now actively preparing. Well, I'm interested in seeing it. Hello. 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 What do we have? A speeding car. Be careful. The boy's alive. Apparently, he ran out of the road. This is his backpack. The phone is broken. We weren't able to reach his parents. <laughs> Two people in the car. There was a girl. She was 15, 17. She is now in critical condition. And the driver? The driver's dead. I see. You found the girl's phone? Yes, I have it. Uh, 
And I want all of you to know that several important artists have agreed to take part in our next exhibition. Mm, really? Can you at least give me a hint no, as to who I it can't. is? No, it's a secret for mm. now, but you will find out very soon. Yes? Excuse me. Yes? Something happened outside at the gallery entrance. Looks like Sam got hit by a car. Hello. No, it's not Lisa. This is Investigator Irwin. Your daughter Lisa was taken to a hospital. Yes, she was in a car accident. She's in critical condition. Yes, she was taken to a hospital near the gallery. Oh, excuse me, you can't go through. Sorry, through. that's Let all I know for go. now. Sir, what happened to my son? What's going on? I'm Valerie Sutcliffe. This is my son's Let backpack. Let her through. I'm sorry, I have to go Where's now. my son? How is he? He was taken to the hospital. <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. Well done. Keep up the good work. I like this building, Simon. Yeah, I really love it. Could turn over, find a couple more of these now, only in a different Will area. do. No more competitors. Oh. Dan, you got the catalogs? Who is this? Sorry, what happened to my son? Where's the lobby in this hospital? This is like a maze. Uh, excuse me, where's the lobby? That way. Yeah. Okay. There? Thank you. Uh, sorry. God, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know where emergencies is? We don't know. Our daughter is somewhere here. Uh, okay, I thanks. Huh. Ivan! Uh -huh. Hello, we're looking for Lisa Malkovich. Uh. Someone called us. Yes, the police called us. They said she's here at this hospital. Lisa Malkovich? Lisa yes. Malkovich, yes. Just a minute, I'll find out. You can have a seat. Please can you hurry, hurry up, up, please? Yes. Hello? I need information on Lisa Malkovich. Oh, could she speak any slower? Go have a seat, please. Oh, God. Car accident? Yes, yes, accident, yes. God, I don't understand. How many people can you possibly have with the same name? <sighs> Understood. Lisa Malkovich <sighs> passed away in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. There was nothing they could do. No, no, it's some kind of mistake. It's impossible. How did she... How could she die? They called me and she said that she brought her here to you. They called me from the police and said that she brought you to your hospital. Let's call and check again. I That's am very sorry. What you're saying is a lie. The information they gave you is wrong. Please call it Lisa Malkovich. Just make it. I don't know, maybe. There are other girls named Lisa Malkovich. This is a mistake. What caused the accident? Your son was driving at a high speed. A boy came out on the road. He tried to avoid hitting the boy and then lost control of the car. It's the boy's fault. It's his no. fault. It was reckless driving. I'm sorry.
So you'll go see Singleton now and then Ackerman. Is that okay? Okay, great. See you soon. Good evening. Hello. Sorry, doctor. Valerie Sutcliffe, right? Yes. Yes. I want to immediately reassure you that your son's life is not in danger at this point. As a result of the accident, he lost consciousness due to pain and shock. Of course, he has a lot of bruises and a concussion, but medical assistance was provided on time. Therefore, we are very hopeful for a quick recovery. Thank you. Does that mean that everything's fine? Well, as you should know, I can't give any guarantees. But it looks like he's fine. I still can believe this happened to Lisa. Stay strong. <sighs> if only we knew where she really went that day. You should have done a better job. What? Sylvia. That is Dan's father. The guy who was driving. They buried him here. I'll be right back. Uh, You'll be don't fine. Don't do it. Just look. Look after Sylvia, please. William. Okay, let's go. Excuse me. Can I have a word? It's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm Ivan Malkovich. Lisa's father. She was in the car with your son. It seems that we share her. Common grief and and that's all. Yes, I'm sorry. Now, you know what? I still think that your son shouldn't have been driving so fast. He should have. Valued his girlfriend's life and been more careful. My son, he doesn't owe you anything. And he doesn't owe that girl anything. No, no, don't talk about her like that. Did you hear me? Don't you dare. Because of your son that my daughter's dead now. Simon, listen, we are all grieving. So you need to calm down. Ah, let's go. Sammy, wake up, sweetheart. Good morning. Hello, my dear. Hello, how are you? How I'm do fine. you feel? Not fever today? 
Hello, my sunshine. Well, you'll probably get discharged today, you know? Good morning. Hello, yes. We wanted to ask when he's going to be discharged. Is it today? Uh, Valerie, can I talk to you for a minute? Why, what happened? Please come with me to my office. I'll be back very soon, dear, okay? Here, I brought you something delicious. It's for you, okay? I'll be back. Stay there, okay? Darling. Darling, everyone's already here. Waiting for you. I think we shouldn't have bought him that car. Dan was a great driver. I taught him myself. It's all because of that boy. <sighs> A few days ago, we performed an echo on your son. And I noticed a number of clinical signs, which are barely noticeable at this stage, and it looks like a very serious illness. Uh, the Doppler echo and x-rays that were performed later unfortunately confirmed my worst case scenarios. What fears? What's wrong with him? Let's take a seat. As a result of a close chest injury that occurred during the terrible accident, unfortunately, your son has developed post-traumatic heart disease. Is, is it curable? Yes but urgent surgery is needed. Unfortunately, at our clinic, procedures of this kind are not currently performed. You need to take your son abroad. Mm -hmm. And how much would that cost? Mm, well, the surgery itself, plus transportation, and expenses, 50,000. That much? Yes, but with a successful surgery and treatment, your son's chances are very, very high. And how much time do we have? He needs the surgery very soon. Patients with this diagnosis may live for perhaps a month, possibly less. Valerie, find that money soon.
Let's have breakfast. Sylvia. This is all your fault. Sylvia. Don't say that. It was because of your carelessness that she was out with that rich kid. I beg you, Sylvia. Tell me, am I wrong? Just tell me I'm wrong. Actually, I thought that when girls have love problems, they usually go to their mothers. What? So you think I'm guilty of everything again? Yes, we're both guilty. She was spending time with that kid, lying to us. She said she was at school. Or that she'd be at a friend's birthday party. God, how could something like this happen? I don't know. I don't know. That's not an answer. Alice Keeley dedicated this collection to her son. Uh, you can clearly notice that each picture of her son shows a different age. I'm sorry, do you know where Arthur is? Uh, I think he's in his office. Thank you. Simon, where are you? Stop everything and come to the gallery. I need you. Arthur, may I? I'm busy. It's a personal matter. No, I have no time. I'm sorry, you probably don't know yet, but it's my son who was hit by Dan. As a result of the accident, a chest injury developed post-traumatic heart disease. And he needs urgent surgery. The cost of the surgery is $50,000. And here, here's a copy of the medical report. Yes, here it is. It was your son then. Yes. Maybe you, as Dan's father, could take care of these expenses. My son is sick at the hospital because of what your son did after all. If you dare. Say something else about Dan. I will fire you. Arthur, wait. You probably didn't understand. I have no way of getting this money. I, I'll pay you back. After all, because your son, my own child is now dying. My son tried to avoid the accident. Your son is alive. Mine is not. And you ask me for money? I have no one else to go to. You're fired. Where were you? Uh, did you call? Did you know that over the past two days, one of our gambling halls has dropped its revenue to almost zero? Uh, so, then we should seal some... No, idiot. Are you dumb? Let's go! to talk. Can you meet me? Where are you? Good. I'll be right there. I'm close. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll be there soon. Thank you.
Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Malkovich. Oh, hi. Oh, Ivan. Hello. I'm glad to see you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Listen, uh... I understand it's hard for you right now. No. You don't understand. Because it's impossible to understand. You don't know. Uh, Ivan, maybe you should see a Therapist? What for? Mm, a friend of mine works in the field. I think he's got a six month wait list now, but I can ask him. Christian. There's nothing wrong with my mind, all right? I understand perfectly well what's wrong with me. It's called the Loss Syndrome. And I have to deal with it myself. Okay? Myself. Hmm. I'll just send him a message. I stand, I don't need it! going on? Well, Sam and I are in trouble. The other night, he was hit by a car. Is he? It's very serious. He's in the hospital now, but he needs an urgent surgery. Oh my god. The cost of the surgery is $50,000. I don't have that amount of money, you know. I rent my apartment, I'm paying for this car. And I urgently need the money. I don't have that money either. I understand. Listen, I wanted to ask if I could talk to your banker boyfriend. Perhaps he could lend me the money. I'll pay him back as soon as I possibly can. Well, of course I'll talk to him soon. Try today. Stay strong, everything will be fine. I have to go. Okay, go on. It's your turn. But don't peek. <laughs> Little rascal. Seven. Seven. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got it. Yay, finally. Does it hurt in your chest? A little. I see. So, 78. Uh, I have it. All right. You're lucky. Oh, sorry, dear. Hannah's calling me. Hannah? How did it go? Unfortunately, I have bad news. Max refused to lend you money. What? Did you explain to him? That I'll pay him back very soon? Understand this. I just started a relationship. I can't put this pressure on him. I see. Stay strong. Goodbye.
are you crying? No, I'm not. It's okay. <laughs> so, whose turn is it? Yours or mine? Yours. <laughs> All right, so, let's see. It's 14, 13, 14, got it, <laughs> yes. Your turn, but don't peek. <laughs> 87. Oh, 87? Mom, why are you crying? Is it because of me? No, of course not. It's just some problems. Come on, let's play. Everything's fine. So, 60 then. Have you got a 60? No. 